There we see the crumpled front end of the uh, car of Steve Palmer as we come to the super final proper. John Reed joins them, of course, on the back row of the grid. So this is it once again, and Alan, between uh, Will and Steve. Once again, we've seen this before. Will got up in the league with the Bi Turbo 6R4 and Steve Palmer. Not exactly giving his, not exactly giving Will best now. Hanging on to a, uh, with the normally aspirated version of the same car. Yeah. As uh, they come out of Belfast Ferry's corner, we can see Barry Squibb in third place. John has come through very well into fourth place. John Welch from the back row of the grid up into fourth place. Will he be able to close on Squibby? Squibby driving the car formerly used to win the uh, Motocrep Grand Prix and European Championships by uh, no less person than the Norwegian ace Martin Skanker. But uh, Squibby having a good run there in third place, and that's going to do Squibby a lot of good in the championship. That's going to take him up into second place, I would think, overall. But this, of course, is the super final. Points for the super final championship uh, remain separated from those in the class finals. And at the moment, Stephen Palmer is the overall leader of the super final and overall category. And the second place here, the holds at the moment behind Will Gollop is going to be good enough to retain that position at the head of the points table but Barry Squibb who so many people said was going to be the dark horse of the series once again proving what a quick man he is and how quickly he's transformed to the four-wheel drive handling characteristics uh, having been second to Tony Vardy in Formula B in the 1989 series but it's still Will Gollop then with the Biturbo 6R4 leading Steve Palmer's normally aspirated 3.8 version there's Squibby in third place there's John in fourth place and we go with John Welsh, follow them away through that flick of paddock bend that leads down into Belfast Ferry's corner and uh, out of Belfast already and up into the, the chicane comes Will Gollop. Will Gollop then comfortably in the lead comes from Canterbury in Kent where he runs a Saab agency, has long been a supporter of rally crossing here in Northern Ireland. Very popular man in the north because uh, he used to come over here for the old boys' autodrome days years and years ago with his uh, Saab. He's getting a bit of support here today from Northern Ireland Rover dealers, Joshua White. And uh, that's enabled the organisers to get Will Gollop here. And I'm sure he's a real crowd pleaser for the spectators. As, of course, is Steve Palmer, who arrived very late for today's meeting. The car delayed, I believe, at the ferry port. But it's great to see Steve back in contention. And these two men having a very, very close battle indeed. And it should be close between them, we hope, throughout the remainder of the year in the European Championship, which both of them will be contesting. That gets underway in Austria later in April. And uh, Will and Steve are going to be our two top contenders there. They've both taken different routes to get the power. The big, normally aspirated version for Steve Palmer, the Bi-Turbo for Will Gollop. And there's not much between them at the checker club.